A week after the Meeple's a list of potential cabinet members under presumptive President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s administration is spreading online. Included in the supposed list is Philippine Nuclear Research Institute Director Dr. Carlo Arcilia. He was surprised to be named as the next head of the Science and Technology Department based on the list. Wala pong official na kung mausap. Ang hirap naman, nakakaya naman kasi pag-presume na wala, baka marumor lang eh. Professor Clarita Carlos was also in the list as the next Foreign Affairs Department Secretary. She said that she would be willing to serve if asked. Even if I'm 76 years old, uh, my whole professional life has been on foreign policy and defense and security. So if I am asked, uh, I'm going to serve. But the Marcos Comp maintains that they are still in the process of searching for members. So far, only presumptive Vice President Sara Duterte Carpio and former MMDA Chairman Abalos have been confirmed as Secretaries for Education and the Interior Departments respectively. But are they willing to work with the opposition if it comes down to it? Spokesperson Attorney Vic Rodriguez said as long as they are competent. But while Marcos Jr.'s cabinet has yet to take form, former Finance Secretary Bobby De Ocampo advises the former Senator to retain President Duterte's economic managers. Secretary of Finance, Sonny Dominguez. Now, if uh, BBM can keep Sonny, that would be wonderful. Mm. If he can't, then he should pick somebody who has the same uh, capability in managing our uh, funds, so to speak. Aside from Dominguez, De Ocampo also thinks NEDA Secretary Carl Chua and Trade Secretary Ramon Lopez should be in Marcos Jr.'s economic team. As uncertainties abound over Marcos's economic policies, the naming of his cabinet members, especially his economic team, might just help temper such anxieties. Mobile journalist Julie Baiza, we are One News.